Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Elle if you are new here and welcome to my living room. I just had a Facebook video Skype interview with John Haggerty Vlogs and I'm gonna be their youtuber of the week So that video will probably be up by the time this video is up. So make sure you go and check it out I'm so excited. It's going out tomorrow and I can't wait to see it so that's a favorite of the month as well i can't believe i'm being featured on someone else's channel it's so so cool so go check them out they're so friendly and nice and i can't believe that i'm gonna be on someone else's channel so yeah this makeup is gonna look very familiar and he told me to change a setting on my camera so i think it might look a little bit better maybe so yeah i had my setup out here and i just thought i would film and just do kind of like a casual favorites because I love when these videos are kind of off the cusp and I can just share with you things I've been liking lately, like a friendly chat between amigos, you know? So I have gathered a basket full of some of my favorite things this month and yeah, we're gonna be chatting for a little while here. So if you wanna hear about the items that you need to try and get in your life, then keep on watching. Totally random favorite, but I finally hopped on the LaCroix bandwagon, the sparkling waters. These taste so good, no wonder everyone. I feel like I've heard about these all over YouTube, even in real life, everyone's telling me to try these. They're just sparkling waters. This one is the Natural Mango Essence. This is one of the newer ones I've tried, and it's just so good. Uh, the coconut ones, like one of my favorites, they have no calories, no sweeteners, no sodium, just like zero everything on the nutrition facts, and they taste so, so good. So I rip through boxes of these. They've been amazing for summer. They're just carbonated. So if you're trying to get off a soda, these might be a healthier alternative. I'm not really a soda person, but I like I like these a lot. If your stomach's kind of feeling weird, the carbonation helps. <laughs> also random favorite, just this cold shoulder tops. I've been buying so many of them and all my favorite items have it. So I've been really liking this trend. This is a new-ish shirt and yeah, I just, oh, I've been loving it. Finally, a trend that I like that I look good in. Yes. For candle favorites, these favorites are all like super recent, like things I've liked in the past couple of weeks because I've been doing so much traveling, it's hard to like keep using the same products. But this one I've been obsessed with the past week. It's from TJ Maxx slash Marshalls or Home Goods. All those stores are kind of related. It's the DW Home Sweet Pea Pomegranate. This is the little four ounce size. That's $2.99. And as you can see, I've used up like half of it. Glass is a really pretty pink color. I've been looking for a bigger version of this because I absolutely love it. And this is sending me onto a big sweet pea kick. Oh, it's not too overpowering. It's nice and girly. Um, slightly floral, not a ton. I guess it technically is a floral, but I don't know. It's not like that strong old lady perfumey floral. I just, it's been burning. So, so nice. This has been perfect in my bedroom. It fills it up. I'm just so in love with this and I've been looking for a bigger one and I found a slightly bigger one today, but it's not the two wick. So I'm nervous it won't burn as nicely, but this one's just been burning perfectly evenly and I've been loving it. For items I don't have like a physical thing of to tell you about, but I want to fill you in on. Favorite YouTuber lately uh, has probably been Kendall Ray. She does conspiracy theory videos, but also like missing person videos, which um, I don't know, I feel like normally stuff like that would creep me out, but I love that with that series, it's the where is series she will make like a t-shirt and all the money she makes from them gets donated to thorn which is a company by ashton kutcher that helps to solve missing persons cases and child trafficking cases using technology so that's amazing and she's kind of bringing awareness to these missing persons cases to maybe spread the word help bring them home something so they've been really interesting her videos have been really interesting to me she also does like astrology videos and stuff like that so i was watching her gemini video there's really in depth she has a really uh, kind of good way of explaining a lot of information in a short amount of time So you probably already know her her channel's pretty big She's at like half a million subscribers, but check her out if any of that sounds good to you I will just watch it for ages on end for TV. I actually watched all of girl boss in a weekend because netflix kept recommending it to me and then i found out there was no season two and i was so mad because it was so good i love it it's about a girl who like starts her own ebay shop and i guess it's based actually on a real person in their autobiography so it was really interesting uh to see how this girl started her own internet business because i just i love stuff like that that's my thing it was a really good show on netflix if you want to check it out i feel like there are other tv shows i've been liking 
Better Call Saul ended recently this season. I absolutely love that show every year. I probably talk to you about it. It's just amazing. It's shot really similar to how Breaking Bad was done and I think it's really artsy and the cinematography is really really good for a TV show. It's amazing. Writing's really good so if you liked Breaking Bad or if you're into a really really well done TV show then check that out. For music, I don't even know. I feel like I've been listening to the same playlist for a while. I make a new favorites playlist every month. I'm checking my um, Spotify. It's my July faves playlist. It's pretty long. Most Girls by Haley Steinfeld. I love that song. I love all of her lyrics and all of her songs are really clever. TG4M by Zara Larson. That one's been really good. Mi Gente by J Balvin, the song in Spanish. I've really been loving. I love music that's in Spanish and that one's just so catchy and I, oh, I'm just dying to dance to that song. Romantic, the NOTD remix by Stanaj just gets me dancing. That's really, really good. Breeze, the remix by Astrid is really, really good. And I love that song. Just gets me dancing every time. I don't even know how I find this music. I just browse around. So I will link that playlist in the description if you're interested. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in a comment what you've been loving this month. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to join our Glam Bam fam and I'll see you in my next video. Three, two, one, bam!